Greetings, friends. Welcome to CTUCC Conference Cast for February 27, 2015, the regular podcast of the Connecticut Conference of the United Church of Christ. Whoever you are and wherever you may be on life's journey at this very moment, you are welcome here. The video edition returns this week in order to best include one of our stories, and you'll find out more about that later in the podcast. We begin this week's conference cast with this meditation from the Reverend Eric Anderson, Associate Conference Minister for Proclamation, Identity, and Communication, and your podcast host. In the eighth chapter of Mark's Gospel, Peter objects when Jesus predicts a hostile reception from the chief religious leaders in Jerusalem. Jesus rebukes Peter in turn, saying, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. One of my favorite characters in one of my favorite movies is Doug the cheerful golden retriever in the 2009 Disney Pixar animated movie Up. A creature of indefatigable high spirits and loyal charity, the only thing that distracts him is the presence or mere mention of one particular creature, a squirrel. And it's not just Doug. All the dogs in the film, the moment a squirrel is mentioned, immediately freeze, point and stare at some random spot where a squirrel might be. Squirrel! sounds the call. And abruptly, everything stops. It's the best distraction of all time. In my office... There are days which associate editor Drew Page and I declare with shaking heads to be squirrel days. They're those days that are filled with distractions. Phone calls, emails, questions, problems, computers crashing and gadgets misbehaving. We strive to put our heads into a project and suddenly another item clamors for attention. When we've cleared that emergency away, we go back to what we were doing to find that the slightest movement in the room or in our minds will sweep us away from that and leave us staring helplessly at the spot where that benighted squirrel must be. That's a squirrel day. When Jesus starts to warn his friends about the coming trial he will face, He must have felt like he was surrounded by dugs and dogs, all fascinated by a squirrel. They'll give their attention to anything except what he just said. Peter, who clearly had a talent for denial, seeks to distract Jesus by taking him aside and contradicting him. I can almost hear him shouting, squirrel! But Jesus may have had the greatest capacity for focus of all time. No, he says, and please bear with my paraphrase here. I will not be distracted. There aren't any squirrels here. There's who I am, and there's what I must do. There's what I will do, and there's what will happen because I do it. And there's what I summon you to do. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't be fascinated by distractions Don't be deterred by risk. I'm going ahead. Get behind me, watch my steps, and follow. The crises, the cacophony, the craziness, lay them aside. Follow me. No squirrels. Here is a prayer for this week. Holy One, we do not possess your power of focus. We grant priority to the strangest things. Some are pleasures, some misdeeds. So we ever pray to you for guidance through the disorder of existence, to do and to strive in harmony with your will, and to pass the chattering squirrels, leaving them aside. Amen.
In the news this week... The 40 days of Lent have begun with Ash Wednesday observances in Connecticut's churches last week. Some congregations gathered with others, as First Church of Christ UCC in Simsbury did, with the Metropolitan African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church of Hartford. Metropolitan AMEZ's associate pastor, the Reverend Shirley Moon Childs, delivered the good news of Christ's overflowing love from Simsbury's pulpit. Further west and south, five UCC congregations shared worship and ashes together. The United Church of Christ in Southbury, the South Britain Congregational Church UCC, the Roxbury Congregational Church UCC, First Congregational Church UCC of Woodbury, and North Congregational Church UCC, also of Woodbury. Four more churches in the New Haven area gathered in a large circle at Church of the Redeemer UCC in the Elm City. And in Hartford during the day, Passers-by accepted the mark of ashes from pastors the Reverend Damaris Whitaker and the Reverend Joseph Bradley as those two braved the February chill before the front steps of Center Church, UCC. Whether administered on the street or in a sanctuary, during the bright light of day or the shadows of evening, these ashes served as reminders both of the power of God who created life from dust and of our human mortality, which God's grace transforms through Christ. Moral Monday, Connecticut, inspired by the campaigns in North Carolina in support of marriage equality, and in Ferguson, Missouri, against police violence, held its first action at Hartford City Hall this past Monday. Just over 25 participated in a die-in after marching from Christ Church Episcopal just down Main Street. Hartford police directed protesters to leave the street as they returned to the cathedral. And for some tense minutes, officers actually entered the church for conversations with organizers Bishop John Selders of Amistad UCC and the Reverend Stephen Camp of Faith Congregational Church UCC, both of the capital city. There were no arrests and organizers plan further actions in other cities around the state in coming months. Also on Monday, the Connecticut Conference launched its first crowdsourced funding campaign to develop the Leadership Studio, a meeting space here at United Church Center in Hartford that will facilitate resource sharing and skills building both here and in the virtual world. But Let's turn to the Reverend Kent Salati and the Reverend David McAllister to tell you more about it. Vision. Purpose. Inspiration. Direction. Comprehension. Connection. Imagination. Interdependence. Conceiving a better way to be. Perceiving a path to get there. Energizing and engaging others to join in the work. These are the elements of leadership. These are the elements of leadership. We're creating a new tool to empower the leaders of the Connecticut Conference. It's a space we call the Leadership Studio, where we can gather clergy and lay ministers of the state to learn and grow so that our congregations can learn and grow. It's a real space for gathering in the real world And it will be a virtual space for gathering in the virtual world in real time. We'll create video resources here. We've already begun producing two video series, Vantage Point and Conference Cast, right here in the Leadership Studio. But we need help to get this studio fully functioning. We need to patch some holes in the wall. We need curtains to control light and street noise. We need a screen and cameras for holding video conferences. We need sound equipment so you'll hear every word. Our financial goal, $15,000. Our real goal, engaged, empowered, inspired leaders in the Connecticut Conference. Shepherding vital congregations who serve the people of their communities. Building toward the kingdom of God. Thank Thank you you for for your your help. As of this Friday morning, contributors have already given just shy of $3,000. This micro-campaign runs until March 31st. You can learn more about all these stories and contribute to the Leadership Studio campaign by visiting us at ctucc.org news. 
Learn about Radical Hospitality with Youth, a Stepping Stones workshop which will be held March 9th in South Glastonbury. All the Stepping Stones workshops are described at ctucc.org slash steppingstones. Clergy and lay people have a truly valuable opportunity to learn about the ethics of ministry and church life with the UCC's General Counsel, Don Clark. During his visit with us over the weekend, there's a workshop for clergy the morning of March 13th in Southington. And you can see Clergy Ethics the Musical that evening in South Glastonbury. Reviews from those who've seen it are fantastic, so don't miss it if you can possibly be there. On Saturday the 14th, Don Clark will lead a workshop on governing boards and safe conduct policies for church lay leaders in Middlefield. Make sure to reserve your place for these special events. Young people have an opportunity to prepare to be a counselor in training at Silver Lake with a weekend conference March 13th through 15th. Registration is open for Super Saturday. This day of workshops features keynote speaker the Reverend Reuben Duran, who promotes new church development for the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. This joint venture with the Massachusetts Conference will be held March 21st in Ludlow, Massachusetts. The Women's Yoga and Spirit Retreat is at Silver Lake March 27th through the 29th, as is the Maple Sugaring Weekend for young people of middle school age. Stepping Stones offers part one of Keeping Our Churches Safe on April 9th in Hartford. Registration is also open for Stewardship in the Changing Church from Consumerism to Generosity, this year's ecumenical stewardship event, which runs April 17th and 18th in Boxborough, Massachusetts. Silver Lake's Spring Action Weekend is May 1st through 3rd at our Outdoor Ministry Center in Sharon. And the Conference Youth Revival is May 3rd in Bloomfield. Registration is also open for the New England Association of United Church Educators event, running May 5th through 7th in Craigville, Massachusetts. To learn more about these events or to register, visit us at ctucc.org events. Our Spirited Wednesday thought comes from the Reverend Jack Shackles, pastor of the Taftville Congregational Church, UCC. Raised not to question authority, he has come to wonder, when he's disappointed with God, if God can cope. He writes, no lightning strike, no heavenly paddle. Can it be that God's love for me can bear even my disappointment? My disappointments, failures, or frustrations are transformed into hope and trust. And if I am still and quiet, I will hear God's voice again call me beloved. And that brings this conference cast to a close. Thanks to you for listening and to GarageBand for our music. Primary funding for Conference Cast comes from your congregation's gifts to our church's wider mission, basic support, changing lives through the United Church of Christ. This is Eric Anderson, the Associate Conference Minister for Proclamation, Identity, and Communication for the Connecticut Conference of the United Church of Christ, praying that your days this week may be filled with the presence, the guidance, and the grace of God.